Morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Uh, overnight grains were a little bit lower. Uh, stock market trying to be a little bit higher, <clears throat> while the uh, dollar is lower and crude's higher. As far as the mark grain markets are concerned, a lot of data came out yesterday. Weekly export inspections uh, for corn and wheat were okay, but beans were less than expected. We also heard that China is now trying to have exporters uh, to China guarantee that their exports are virus free, which includes meat and grains and soybeans. So that raises the question as to how much U.S. demand China is actually going to get. We're slowly getting into the process of uh, looking to see how much China has bought compared to phase one deal, and it's quite a bit below uh, the phase one deal. Again, uh, mixed reports out of Washington. Uh, most say that they will adhere to the deal, while uh, one White House advisor said yesterday that the deal was done. As far as U.S. weather is concerned, the 6 to 10 day and the 8 to 14 day are both similar in that we're going to see normal to above temps across most of the Midwest and normal rainfall. And so that offers a lot of resistance over the marketplace. As far as yesterday's data, um, the USDA rated the uh, corn crop 72% good to excellent. That was above expectations. And your best crops are in Iowa, Minnesota, South Dakota, and Wisconsin, while crops that are at trend yield are in the east, Illinois, Indiana, Michigan, also uh, up in uh, Nebraska and North Dakota. Pretty much the same thing on beans, although uh, the lowest rated uh, soybean state is North Dakota. So again, uh, trend yields in Arkansas, in Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Missouri, Ohio, and Tennessee, above trend in in Iowa, Louisiana, Minnesota, um, South Dakota, and Wisconsin. So uh, again, the <clears throat> trend yield looks to be uh, 179.5 with a 15.6 corn crop and 51 bushel bean yield, which gives us a, almost a 4.3 billion bushel um, soybean crop. So those numbers add up to higher carryouts and lower prices. So seasonally, we're getting close to a season high even though corn prices and wheat prices are, are near season lows, there's still probably some kind of weather premium in, in those markets. Beans are at the midpoint of a big range between eight and nine dollars. Eight dollars means good weather and, and less than hoped China buying. Nine dollars and above would be if we have a weather problem and China actually comes in and buys 20 million tons of U.S. beans despite all the rhetoric. And as far as weather uh, long term is concerned, again, our weather guy thinks that July could be a little bit warmer and drier than normal. But the th key could be the tropics. If we see quite a few uh, tropical storms, maybe a hurricane or two that hits the southeast U.S., that could uh, starve the Midwest out of moisture and temperatures could go up. But if the tropical storms go into the Gulf and up the uh, Mississippi River area, and the Gulf Coast, then that'll provide moisture to the Midwest and crops would be good. And they would be off and on cooling down the temperatures uh, as the ridge moves in and out. It's hard to predict uh, what the tropical uh, system is going to be uh, this year. But I think if they start hitting the Southeast, you could start seeing some drier conditions in the Midwest. And that's probably the only thing right now that would rally prices over key resistance. As always, these are my thoughts and not those of ADM and ADM Investor Services. Have a safe and profitable trading day. Remember, treat people like you would like to be treated yourself.